I, I thought was in the lease, but we researched it a little more. And when Rick came to me when he rented the lease and took over the restaurant, he asked for one request and he made sure he had a show for a handicap and assisted people from day one. And whether they got more than that or less than that, you know, I'm not going to be down there monitoring that. But um, I got a lot of concerns from both sides. Sure. I imagine y'all have oh, yeah. I had um, so and I think it's really a problem when there's a lot of people on the pier at one time. It's during the summer period and sunsets are right around five thirty or six or six thirty. Everybody wants to be on the pier at the same time. It's either the pier, people want to go to the restaurant, they sit there outside on the deck. All that's happening at one time. And I think that causes a problem because there's a lot of people on the pier and I don't know how you deal with that. Well, I, I, I don't want to discuss the entire ordinance tonight. We, we, we didn't dedicate any time for that. I well, am sure that I'm hearing from people who want to remain anonymous that that are just from day one wanted to shut us down, you know? And uh, I, I, you know, I, I'm just trying to figure it out because uh, I'd like to talk to those people, find out what how the shuttle actually affects their life, how it affects what they're doing every day, or do they just like to sit around and push people around. I don't know. If you have a legitimate reason for the shuttle not to be there. Hopefully by the next meeting maybe we can put a moratorium on this portion while we tweak the rest of it or we could, uh, I'd like to see something drafted up and I'd like to see Councilman give me fine tune it just a little bit. Uh, I'll send out uh, something asking you know, <coughs> any other quick suggestions to go in there. You know, At the very minimum we can change that section and um, but I think we should act because we shouldn't violate our own rules and we shouldn't allow other people to you know, we shouldn't say, Rick, you can violate the law. We should just either allow it under the law or not, right? right. That way you're law-abiding. Okay. All right, let's move on.